This this sounds like it's a good volume. Well, I'm watching this. This is gonna be a reaction to Gabby and Victor. Um, I don't really know this couple or anything, but I guess they're reality show TV people. So I'm just gonna see what's going on and I'll react accordingly to how I feel because you know, I've been feeling relationships is getting crazy and I just wanted to see how relationships are on these things. So let's 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 vibe out see what they go on to say. Yeah, Whoa, what the hell? Wait, what he say? Was he did he say something about her tits? Yo, this is one thing. This is one thing. There's sometimes guys don't like women to be sexy, but that's how you got her. If you start getting insecure about her looking like that, then you will lose her, my boy. And when you lose her, don't be mad. But this guy said, fix your tits. Yo, as long as her nipples is covered, let them titties rock, baby. Ugh. Well. Bye now. And I'm a bad girl, and this is my boyfriend. Oh, this is Bad Girls Club? You could tell the look of defeat on this man's face. His shoulders are down, which is a clear sign that she's dominating over him. And he's trying to sometimes gain his power by establishing some weird thing about her titties being out. So this he looks like he's done with everything. Like, damn. Damn. And I'm sick of Gabby thinking she is a bad girl. Gabby and I have a child together, and my biggest issue is that there is no relationship. I feel like this is just a person I'm bonded with to raise a child. Oh, my God. I get what he means, but I honestly feel like you could you could tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like everybody's entitled to a kid if they want it. Now, you met her as a bad girl 100%, and she was so bad that that rubber was not on, and you spluced up in there. Now, you have to take what comes with it. You met her as a bad girl. She a bad girl. If you met her as a, a bad girl that was reverting to a good girl, then I get it. But she looked like she's been a bad girl all her life and sounds like it, too. Hi. 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 Hey, hello. Welcome. I'm Gabby. Hey, Gabby. Hi. Nice to meet you. Got red lipstick on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's right right nice to meet you. Nice to meet Yeah, where's the lip? Excuse me. She's got her with that red lipstick. I only know who Why does sister got to be a... Oh my gosh, I love my queens, but sometimes you just don't be the first one. Wives, maybe you should like me. Hopefully. And that red lipstick is fire. This is Bad Girls Club. I did not know this was some bad girl. This is a Bad Girls Club situation. The red lipstick is on point. Yo, I'd never not told my girl anything about what she dresses other than that's fire or you sure if you bend over you your your pussy might pop out that's that's the furthest i get like other than that let your bad girl be a bad girl but she is a mother to a daughter right she has a daughter so if she wants her daughter to have good a role model in her but if she don't want to be a role model because he spluced in her because he wanted to lock her down. But whatever. And this is the first sign of happiness on his face when the liquor is out. I'm with somebody. So when I don't like you, I have someone to go hang out with. What show are you on? I was on Bad Girls Club. You look bad. Prima Donna can suck my I'm just trying to get Wait, 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 wait. This is not just a Bad Girls Club thing. This is people from different reality shows on this hold on <laughs> i'm dry because i've only been here for five minutes i'm just hoping we don't make a scene on the first day and i guarantee you he did not compliment her on that dress when she wore that i guarantee you 
all he was thinking about was who was going to be looking at her titties like he's looking at the camera right now. Look at his face. That's how everybody's going to be looking at those things right there. God bless you, girl. Oh, I doubt that. Roll it. Joey's depressed. When I was pregnant, Molly says, you're not a good girlfriend. I work, you don't give me back rubs, and I don't get sex. We didn't choose each other. She's still living off the source, which is her parents. Did you move in because you love me or because you were struggling to keep your head above water? He really has an issue with me and my twin sister. Really can't have a real... She got a twin? <clears throat> what did he get? He, he expected a threesome, but then she buckled him down. He fell in love with just her. And then to prove his love, he splooshed up in it, shot up the club, didn't look for survivors, shot the club up, and <sighs> bad girl. When the other person's gonna go pull her aside and fill her. Why out. is he telling people? Why I don't like when people tell their business, because sometimes that business is not like necessary to to say. Like, was it true I was holding you your head above water? Like, it's facts. Because she's a bad girl. She's she her life is she's never paid for a drink in her life. Ever. She's my best friend. That's who I want to hang out with. Her sister's a bitch. One woman in their right mind. I've called my girl sister a bitch. So. That doesn't clean their son's ass. That's like giving a dog a biscuit for in the house. Gabby, without your parents, you couldn't provide for your child, and you feel like Victor Except doesn't I do have any for my child. How do you just I don't take any money from him. him. I don't take any money from my parents. Everything no. my son has is no. from me. Victor, do you know why Gabby's sister Danny doesn't like you? What? What is this? What is this? What is this? Yo, and look at homie's eyes in the back. There, it's like a conference about their drama. That's messed up. That's crazy. Every time to like say one side of the story every time. Would you call her the same name that you call Gabby? I'd probably call her worse. Worse. No, you wouldn't. Don't answer for me. They're oh, kicking it off with something shit. like this, and it's probably just gonna get worse because they did say they were gonna break us down. You tried to tell me. I didn't say that in my video. I said. You asked my dad to move in. The fact that you asked, like, it's the worst thing in the world that you're in my parents' no. house when he's the one who got you a job. First of all, you see, now you're talking too much. Don't get salty about you because you want to touch me. But he got you a job. Like, if he got you a job, I understand because that's like you paying him back. And it doesn't matter if she said, but come on, I hate people saying their business, bro. It it gets me. I'm gonna start pointing out what is logical information. Oh, to so seeing him every single day. You can see someone every day. It has nothing to do with being a f down. Actually, it does. I'm telling you right now. Go. Let's come on. Come on. Oh, you asking a question? Take it. You're the type of person that talks and does never says it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Girl, come on. I can't judge them on their relationship, but from the outside looking in, now the girl that was talking spicy about her lipstick is now about to come talk to her too. Oh man, girl, this this is not a good look. Let me unpause this. Wow. I'm crazy too. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. She said exactly what I said. Oh my gosh, her face was horrible. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. So first day, and I'm thinking, like, this is just not going to work. There's pictures of Gabby's sister here, too. What do you think about the photos, Victor? Oh, my gosh. He's just tight. He did. Oh, my gosh. Do you see? Uh, there's two of them. There's two of them. This sucker nigga. I would be taking them out to eat every day. It would be like business, not every day, but like every week, just like to business shit. Like I would, like the, people don't know how to maneuver is when you got baddies, bro. Jay-Z knows how to maneuver. That's why he, he, he up there. 
He knows Beyonce can seal the deal. She could broker the deal, put the period on the exclamation point. You know what I mean? Like, having those two... Like, if her, if her sister is an asshole, her sister is probably is, a, is an asshole. But you're part of that family now. Right? If I remember. You're part of that family now. So, if you can... Use this to your benefit, business-wise, right? Increasing your credibility in these streets, right? And if that's not what you're, you're pro, what you care about, then it's all good. But having two baddies that, and they're twins. Oh my gosh, man! You know how many, you know how many music videos I would have made. You know how many. Yo, there's so much things you, he could have done for himself and can still do, but he's being a f difficult. She hurt him somehow. Or her sister. Honestly, is. my sister and Victor are the same person in two different no, ways. So how are you gonna possibly sit there and say you're not? They they do they do people. I'm sorry for pausing the video so much, but they do say that when you don't like somebody, they have traits that you have in yourself. So. Victor and Victor are the same person and two no, different bodies. So how are you gonna possibly sit there and say you're not just like Danny? You're arrogant and you're stubborn. So that means you're like your sister? I get, we're twins, aren't we? Stop hanging out with your sister. She is feeding you toxic. I'm just saying, the way you think she feeds me toxic, you feed me toxic. So do you see how no, you two are similar? I can't even blame you for not knowing how to be a girlfriend because I know how to be in relationships. I cheated on my you relationship. You know how to be in a relationship. I cheated on my relationship. You cheated on her not I just with me, but with other I cheated on with one girl, you. You're so full of you want to compare me to your whole ass? Oh my gosh. God damn. Whole ass sister. Yes. Yes. You are compared to a whole ass sister because you cheated on your girl with this one, with the baddie, and you had kids with her. You probably didn't have kids with her. You probably, you spent, you probably, you probably did. You probably had kids with her too. But still, you had kids with her. You cheated on her and had a kid bro this is all his fault i'm sorry as a man i don't like to say that a lot but you met her as a bad girl with a twin sister that was partying crazy you cheated on the girl you were with and now you're gonna be tight she compares you to a whole ass sister that probably does the same shit sometimes my father people gotta really take a step back and see that people who are in relationships with you see the worst parts of you sometimes, and they can point it out. But, you know, sometimes don't beat it. You can't beat a dead horse so much. It's not going to happen. Disrespecting you know my sister's going to get nowhere. I'm disrespecting your sister all the I can imagine all the talks about me, and you don't even bag me off. Get out of here. want to be a side chick and pretend to be a girlfriend. You're crazy. You pathetic how ass you, mother... How do you say what exactly you know just just be a good father if i find if she was if she had a representative in the beginning of a relationship and then you see this now then i understand but just be a good father don't call your wife a bitch in front of her don't call the mother of your children a bitch in front of her because she is not going to like men or if she does like men she's going to like men like you that talk like that to her so, man, you got to be mindful of yourself. It's not always about the win. You don't give a f about me. What is... Victor, shut up. No, you don't give a f about I've me. been dealing with you for two years. What are Never, you even saying? You haven't been saying? dealing with f for two I, years. I haven't been dealing no, with f I've been dealing with your stupid ass for two years. So you're going to keep disrespecting me? Yeah. You're so... And then you keep saying... No, this isn't a real conversation. Damn! No wonder why he turned. No, so hold on. Saying, no, this hold on. What is going on? Wow. No wonder why he's stressing. And mind you, she has a twin. And apparently in the picture, they look exactly the same shape. So she has the same shape. Of course, he's going to tell her stay away. Because when they get together... When they get together, when they get together, oh my God. Patient. Jeez. How can you be mad at that? 
Yeah, well, no, yeah, disrespect But yeah, you're sitting there and you're talking about. How am I talking? Because I'm telling you the thing. Why are you, why? Though, why are you? Yo, she's really. Honestly, she's not acting up. Like right here, she's not acting up. He he's being very emotional right now. Like he's very he's being very defensive and gaslighting for no reason. When all he has to do is sit down and talk to her, because it looks like she's in a talking mood. Sometimes you gotta pre the scene, gauge the room. Done. Damn. And that shit look real. Look at the thigh and leg proportion. Stop, 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 stop. Go ahead, you go. Because <laughs> you. Oh, and they were in the same. <laughs> Your car crash and you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm definitely excited Danny's here. Me and my oh, sister geez. are close, but Victor has said that oh, she shows up geez. evenly. Bye. We are going to put Danny on the stretcher, and you are going to be watching from our mission control room. Okay, oh, I'm down to help, dear. but I honestly don't think you should be with him. Danny, I need you to bring it down. Oh, Danny, I'll calm down, dear. but if he comes at me for one second, it's on and popping. You are due to... Jeez, Louise. Ooh. Ooh. Lord. Hold my soul. I don't know why I like, I do, I do, I'm sorry. I looked Jeez. away from the road. You said horrible things. You were texting. But I'm smart enough to know that if I'm with my child, the last thing I'm going to do is pick up my phone to do an argument. He lying, he capping. I'm not blaming her. I personally don't think she should have been on the phone. I'm kind of feel blindsided by this, and I feel like... Just being about to be blindsided some more, boo-boo. I won't be able to beat myself up to the end. So you got to be so full of... It's not even... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's a twin. It's so funny actually seeing on the outside looking in. Yeah, you, Victor. You need your ass booked. Her sister. The sister. That makes no damn sense to me. No because the point, the, the point could have gone across with like, your ass being up. Come out here, Victor. Exactly. Get the I see that, girl. I'm here. I see that. Okay, get the fuck here. Over. She's a poor girl. Come on, man. She's my sister. Yo. Man, if all else fails, bro, always remember the only DNA y'all share is that kid. That's her sister and her, her mirror identical twin sister. Those baddies at that. Jeez Louise, my niece. Can't believe. <laughs> Leave them alone. Oh Wait, because she's staying here, I'm alone. They look alike. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It is so dumb. How do you have beef with a twin and not with... So he hates you anyway, girl. Leave that man. I don't need to talk to you. I'm about to get a point. Yo, you guys are some twins, man. Nah, nah. Come on. Get up. Get up. Who are you calling a bitch? Take a... Both of you. Oh my gosh! Shit, they just both turned around. Jeez, you see that shit? Oh my gosh! Oh, I'd have melted, bro. Just because you have kids with somebody, don't mean you gotta kill the emotions, bro. Both of you. Both of you. Both of you. Both Jeez. Wow. 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 That man does not understand. He was a shelter kid. He he was a shelter kid. He probably was raised by a single mom. Hello, Victor. Stay here. Fake ass. Victor, you can't even explain to anyone in this room what your problem is. Yeah. Disgusting. Don't talk to her like that. They're disgusting as well. Victor. Oh. What's up with you? You're like really a joke. You are the fakest person. You can't even. Shut your mouth and don't talk to me. Do not speak to me like that. Ever. Don't ever speak to me like you
She must have OnlyFans. She must have OnlyFans. Her name is Danny. I'm gonna look to see if she has OnlyFans. She gotta have OnlyFans. Her name is so disrespectful. I'm never gonna forget her. Oh, and now if you come at me again, like you did last night. I don't know why you like, can't let it go. Because you've only slept with four dudes. You just need to hop on another and get over it. You see? That's... <laughs> That's where the toxic come into play. You see what happened with this guy? He cut off all his other girls, which was probably something she told him to do, but she didn't cut off all her guys, and now he's stressed that he don't know how to find girls no more or, or interact with females. So now that her sister is always telling her that, he probably looked in the text messages and seen her saying that, and now he just... You're disgusting. He knows. He knows because she keeps telling her. Only slept with four dudes. You just need to hop on another and get over it. What, Simple like that. That ain't your business. That's her business. It's my business. I don't want a Damn, man let's to talk to like that. Let's go, baby. That goal. You don't even like having sex with the guy, Gabby. Sometimes, yeah. It's annoying. Because you're horny. But let's be serious. You pray for it to be over. You chill with me. She has no chill. Like, she just can't control herself. That's so immature. It's not immature. I'm not yes, it is. Disrespecting. She told... Uh, uh, but that's too much. You can't be telling... Oh. Oh. Who? She's... Who? She's... See, that's what... Her sister is different. Her sister, you tell her everything. But that means she tell her everything. So everything I do, I would do everything to her just to get her sister even looking at me like, yo, this nigga is crazy. I need to find somebody like him. But instead, he's acting so, ugh. She just can't control herself. That's so immature. It's not immature. Yes, it is. You don't have to, if you don't have to play with the devil. You don't gotta, you don't have to entertain the fool. Make the... Because he is not an alpha, he is not a beta, he's just a guy that wants to control his woman and all the aspects of her life and his life. So, I don't know. He, he should just leave. There's millions of women in the world, and they can co-parent. Co-parenting is popping like just be there for your daughter be a strong male figure for her we need to have a talk no, I ain't talking to you. we need to talk i'm eating if i want to talk to you i'll talk to you do i want to talk to you no leave me alone no i'm not gonna leave you alone all right i'm just gonna go wherever you go so we can do this all day mm. wherever you go i'm going boo -boo. I'm like, so okay. unless you want if you're ready to talk i'm just gonna follow you around this house <laughs> what so you just pull my what? Phone, you're a damn look at him he's like he don't even want to look down he's like i'm not looking down Hey, give him yeah. the time when, when he's ready to talk, no, talk to you. No, I don't have the time because I don't want to be do. here. Well, you're here, well, so deal with it. You know what? I'm, I'm, I don't even give a f You're a f loser. You're a joke. And I'm out. Get me the f out of this go, house. Go, baby, go. How do you open this? Go, baby. I hate to see you leave. I love to see you come. I hate, I hate to see you leave. I got all the baby. Poor Gabby. Why? Open, open that door. Door. Open the door. If I knew it was going to be like this, I wouldn't have come. Why are you crying? Because I was so pissed. I'm pissed at you. I'm pissed at everyone. Why are you pissed at me, dude? Because you're just as clean as everyone else in the house. You need help. You're such a little bitch. Yeah. I'm literally about to start breaking. I'm about to break this whole house. Like, why? You need to calm no, down. No, I'm not going to calm down. Okay, Gabby, can you please open the door? For me? No. So don't the door's to. not locked. You just couldn't figure out how to open it. Gabby, stop letting her bully you around. Oh, yeah, bully you around. That's exactly what I'm doing. You're an emotional bully. You're being a dumb bitch. Time for me to go. I don't want you to be so mad. You're so mad. Really so. I was hoping by coming here that Gabby would be happier and Victor would be less of a dick, but... <laughs> Honestly, it didn't help any of us, and I can't even stand Gabby right now. Like, she really tried. Homegirl really tried. I don't want this video to go too long, but 
We can do some more, but man, I probably do this part two, but oh my gosh. Like, there's sometimes as a man, you got to step back and be like, this girl traveled over. I mean, of course, she came on to be on TV, but don't show everybody you're a, like that. Like, don't show everybody that you're soft, bro. Because now you're on national TV and alphas everywhere are seeing these two. And the man with the right money and the right time and opportunity could get them both at the same damn time just so they could spite you. There's a pathological liar who's putting on a front and he can go himself. For the rest of the boot camp, Danny does not exist. I'm starting to realize that I could stand on my own two feet without my sister. How are you feeling today with Victor? I just feel like he's cranky. I'm so confused why like everyone is team Victor. I was like, baby, get it. Uh, this bitch is cool, cool. She don't kill him. What'd you say? Everybody is so overbearing with their opinions when I don't ask them. Well, I'm gonna tell you in your face. You know me. And they have a compromised idea on what to go through. Like, stop being the first one, sister. Let somebody else be. Like, you don't have to be honest. Let me be honest, or let me tell you something. Uh, you know, I'll tell you to your face. It don't matter if you tell me to my face. And whoever You notice every time somebody says, listen, I'm going to tell you straight to your face. They're about to say something wild, disrespectful that they don't need to say. And I'm sick of it. Why do you let people talk to me? I mean, I was always taking jobs. You guys came in completely raw. That's what the difference is. Because was bleeding. I feel like you're jabbing at me. And it's taking me a lot of patience on the snap. When I speak, I just speak. I didn't hear him lay your ass and kick you under the bus like you have done him. Now, whether he was talking to me or not, I never heard him disrespect you as a mother mother. So I can respect you that. Have you not honest? Have they not been listening to this man? He, I look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back. Cause even if she's right. That he didn't say anything to disrespect her as a mother, like with words that says you're a horrible mother, you don't take care of your daughter or whatever. If she didn't say those out of her mouth. Just the fact that he's talking to her like this on national television to where kids can see where he cheated, where he acts like this to his mom or to her mom. And there's instances of you could feel like he may like snap and you don't want that. You want you want everybody to see that it's just a misunderstanding and you came to this show to understand each other or whatever. I don't know where their relationship at. I hope they're good. Not disrespect me as a mother. What? Get me disrespect but stop mother. screaming at my girl. Like stop screaming. You don't have to scream at my girl. I know and you know she's gonna be like, This is how I talk and I'm like Ugh. But come on, stop screaming at my girl. You know it's gonna cause a fight. Don't do that. Some men got to realize that they have to put their foot down. But, like, this is disrespect. You can't let nobody talk to your girl like this. I don't care if it's another girl. You you say your piece, but could you please not talk? Because we're not going to be able to talk. You, you can't explain to her clearly what you've seen by screaming because she's not going to hear you with clear ears. Like, cause, So can you please talk to her in, on a different tone? But this girl... I told you what I don't like, and you get mad about it. I don't like it. Don't give me jazz. I'm just gonna pay you. She had to have cheated on him, and he cannot get over it. It must have been with his brother, cousin, or something. Somebody already swooped in seeing this melee that's happening right there between these people. He swooped in and did what he did, and he can't even fathom it. He's just wanting to force something that he don't even want. He don't even want to be with her. He's just forcing something that he doesn't want. Like your man when you need me there. If I'm not your man and you don't want me in your life, then that's fine. Who I'm not gonna say I don't want you in my life. You came off the cut telling everybody that called you a 
I thought you just said that, yo, he just, he just said that I, she said, but you did call me a cunt. And then he said, because he's just, he's just gaslighting this whole situation. I mean, your life, then that's fine. He I just wants to fight. You, you came off the cut telling everybody that called you a like You that. called me a that you, is you told me I'm less of a man, I'm not a good He's a he is an a he is <laughs> yo, any girl that's with him loves the pain. And if she is good to you, bro, <laughs> you got it. Yo, this guy cannot. You're treating her like this. I don't know what she did. I don't know how many, she had to have been in a gangbang for you to treat her like this, bro. I've never been mad at a girl so much to just clap unless she's a pro gaslighter. But she's just been holding all the shit down. She haven't said he's been verbally abusive not once. This whole shit, she just said it just now. That's crazy. I've been waiting for this all How many times you told me, oh, how should I cry? Should I cry like this? Should I cry like that? What's the tears you're looking for? See, that's what makes a good girl go bad. That's what makes a good girl go bad. Because then she goes bad. And she goes bad. At least let her be a bad girl. But don't turn her bad. Because I'm pissed. I just feel like how many chances am I going to give them? You haven't given me chances. Yes, I have. In the past two years, no. yes, I have. I have disrespected my dad. He feels like just because he helped me move into the house, that he could talk to me whichever way he wants. Victor, what are you talking about? You Let's were get out of here, man. All right, yes, I was out. struggling. And one thing you sacrificed, Gabby. Go ahead, explain to the women, the real women, what have you sacrificed? The real women? Don't do that. Oh, that. oh my gosh. He just tried to. He thinks that he's a woman, bro. He thinks that he has the power, even though one day this girl had beef. She going to sleep on that. She going to come back and realize that she's still a woman and shit, and they're going to come together. But you can't say the real woman. That's so disrespectful, bro. She needs to leave. She has, she does, I think she's really scared to go into it. He's verbally abused her enough to the point where he got a lock on her, where she feels like if she leaves, she's going to be... The person leaving her daughter, her family, her everything. So, damn, I see it. You're telling me, real women, what have you sacrificed? The real women don't do that. You're telling me that we're not her dad. I didn't say that at all. Yeah. What your dad got to say about me? I don't want you for nobody else, for real. <laughs> that lady did not know what was happening. You see the lady in the background. No, real. Look. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, let's go. It should be fists. Victims of the past. You two, more than anyone in here, are trying to figure out your future and your son's future. So let's stop living in the past. It's a boy. You have a boy, my guy, and you're acting like this? Wow. Damn. He picked me up. We smoked a little bit. We had car sex. Missionary was hitting all the right spots. I think it's Gabby. Gabby, is it you? It's me, guys. Oh. oh. Victor, I'm going to start calling you the mechanic. <laughs> The easiest thing was, my friend was driving. We just had, started having sex in the backseat while they were driving. Oh, how do you just tell this story when he just said he never did it? Never have I ever. 
have sex in front of somebody else. So again, you Maybe. lied. This guy is a liar. This guy is a... I'm sorry, I don't like to call people a liar, but he just, in this situation, in this instance, he is a facetious person. And he's just, he just got gassed because she talked about sex. This is a clear, you could tell a clear, simplistic dude. When his girl talk about sex, then he forget about all the beef they got. He's just talking about, yeah, we had sex here. And especially if she said he did it right. That one time means he's doing it all right all the time. So, damn, he is capping. Something that you admit to doing two hours later. Almost felt like he was doing it to be malicious. He needs to learn when to shut the f up. I don't want to have sex with him because I don't think he deserves sex right now. If we're not going to have sex from this point on. Yeah. She's going to have to set that I'm going to get sex somewhere else. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. He's just so nonchalant about because it. Because I... Like, he just doesn't give a yeah, because He's like, oh, I'm going to just point, go get sex with someone else. I don't want to... Listen, I told my girl when we first started. First started. These niggas like to tell their um their stipulations at the middle of the two year relationship. Then you're like, oh, now I have these boundaries. No, you gotta tell them in the beginning. I say if you don't meet my if I don't meet your needs, you could go wherever the fuck you want, find your needs met. But you know what I mean, I'm cool. I don't I'm cool, but if you're not meeting my needs, like, if you're not, all right, boom, we can have sex, but if you're not sucking my dick, if there's somebody else that can suck my dick, I'll get my dick sucked. But if you're not doing it, that's all I will do with that. You know what I mean? But that hasn't been the case, so. No, so I'm going to just cool it today. Gabby being passive. Oh, oh that doesn't feel good. It's all good. It's all good. Gabby retreating. Oh. Today is lie detected day. <gasps> oh. Finally. Now we get into the nooks and crannies. Let's go. Let's go. We ready. We ready. And we got little. Woo, we got the sister here. Sheesh. Here we go. Do this. All right, ready? Yes. Other than Ooh. Victor, could another man be Marcella's biological father? No. Have she you said, had sexual contact? Why did she with do that? Tell. Why did she do that? Tell. Why did she do that? Tell. Did you guys see that? You know, interrogation. I study interrogation a lot. I like to watch interrogation stuff. And interrogators, when they say, when they ask you a question, like. If you ask a murderer, like, did I kill? Did you kill that person? And they say, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Why would I do that? It's like your body doesn't want to lie. So I'm a little shaky on her right now. Those biological partner. No. Have you had sexual contact with another woman besides Gabby since you moved in with her? No. I mean, I will care if he did cheat on me. Like, I'll flip the out. Gabby, your question was, could another man besides Victor be Marcellus's biological father? And the answer you gave was what? Hell no. Deception was indicated. Uh, you see what I mean? The tell never lies. But he already knows that. He already knows that. He just wanted confirmation for everybody else. That's both. I'm not doing this. No, nope, I'm not doing it. Res oh my gosh, don't be. Respect the game, girl. Respect the game. She said, oh my gosh. Now this is now this is when they start retreating. They're not doing it. They're not doing it. She start taking it off. So she's more guilty. So she did cheat on them. And it was probably very freaky. That's not the case, Miss Gaslight, which is another key sign. And look at him, quiet. This is the only time he's quiet. He hasn't said a single thing because he knows she's she's under fire. Are you all done? Yeah. Why did they pick this as the question? I'm not. 
Because he asked it. This just ruined my life. Hey, Gabby, come on out. You walked away even before his results. I don't care about his results. I don't even care. It makes no sense. All of a sudden, my test comes back. That's deception. Damn, girl. Okay, could it be that you were involved with somebody maybe a month before? Yes, I was involved. Okay, so that's what it is. That's what you're not getting. And I told the guy before we even took the test. Oh, you told the guy? You mean the guy or that guy, Victor? Yes. Can you leave? No. Can you leave? No. Take your suitcase and find another room in the house. You can leave. Oh, here's what we're going to do. You see, and this is when women know they she really lost. Now she's going to get him to physically touch her. And if you physically touch her, then you forget about the whole situation because he is a man. He should not touch a woman. But the fact remains. The fact still remains. was indicated oh if she had just waited if she had just waited this is the situation with liars right if you would just wait before your world crumbles to shit now she got ammunition back behind the black queen right here miss amazonian Aphrodite. aphrodite uh, she fire though but she just said, listen, you didn't hear what we heard, girl. We heard. Mm. Facetious. He was facetious. Deception was indicated. Once a cheater, I guess it's always a cheater. Now that I know Victor oh. has cheated on me. That's the freakum dress. That is the freakum dress prior to the birthday suit. Oh, she's ready for war. I almost feel like it's a relief, but it's an awful feeling because it's like, where are we really going to go from here? The first time we leave the house in two weeks. Girl, go crazy! <laughs> My man is disrespectful because he know he winning, right? Right? Because the D got control. But if she would have got up and started whining on anybody to control them hips, this man would have lost his mind. I think I've had one too many vodka and cranberries, and I'm starting to think how messed up tonight was. You should go take a nap. Not a nap. You need to go to bed. You know what? Yeah, yeah. You guys should probably go to bed. Are they? Your suitcase will be in the hall. You better find somewhere to sleep, mother. Already got some more food, bitch. She can't get mad. Can't get mad at me. Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me. Damn, that's why, yo. Every time you feel like you gotta say something to another brother while his girl is tight at him, please say it in a low voice because she will gladly implicate you, gladly try to smack you, and. Whatever happens, happens. Uh, yeah, so you don't let this take the son to lie? No, you don't let this take the son to lie? She said, no, no, bitch. Not the pie, bitch. No, 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 bitch. Not the pie. I tell you, I tell you, bitch. No, 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 bitch. Not the pie, bitch. You threw the pie, Gabby. 
She said it like she was supposed to know. Like, I thought this was crafty. That little white girl is stressed. She is stressed. She don't know what to do. But you threw my pie, bitch. <laughs> and this look, now she realized she's like, fuck. I just wanted to prove a point, but. Two times. This about tried to disrespect me. But you threw my pie, bitch. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's Dad, you never put your hands on nobody. Just because you're a woman, you think you can reach out and touch somebody? I wouldn't put my hands on some dude in case he forgot himself and returned the favor. What the hell kind of man throws a drink in somebody's face? Oh, I can throw a drink. I feel like I can throw a drink after you throw something at me. She threw soda at me, though. I'll just throw the drink, and then, like, can we leave it at that? I'll, I'll scream it like that. Right, boom, you and boom. Tiff and tat. Go to sleep. Good night. That's it. That's all I left of that. But, damn. What the hell kind of man does that? A man that can't hit a woman. A man that can't hit a woman. No excuse. That's, that's a great excuse, actually. That is... That is a hundred percent great excuse. And this man is just towering over him for no reason, but it, he knows in his heart that that's why he said there's no excuse because he know that is a great excuse. What kind of man does A man that, that can't that hit no a woman. Excuse. A man that can't hit a woman. No excuse. This is the last time you'll see each other until tonight's commitment ceremony. It took me coming here and being really broken down to realize how broken this relationship has been from the start. Is there something I need to know about last night? What? Oh, man. Did he get his dick sucked by some decoy that they set up? And you know, they, they, they spicy. And Victor went out, and when the other lady got very close and personal, they were dancing, they were feeling... Yo, they are fucked up. They're fucked up because she was there and she knows. So you're telling me he he didn't have sex with her. All you're doing is igniting more flames. The man that just screamed down the who's the man that screams throws water. For me, I would never in my life do that. Dead. Now you can with me, says the bald brother. No oh, stomach. No. Don't throw nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to hit throw, you. Uh, don't throw nothing. Don't so throw nothing. So you nothing. went to the club last night and you hooked up with someone? I didn't hook up with anybody. You didn't kiss anybody? I didn't kiss anybody. Yeah. You want me as a man? It's not about that. I wouldn't disrespect you because you're still the father of my kid. How's it? His name is what's his name, Doctor Ish. You want me? He ain't no doctor. It's not about that. I wouldn't disrespect you because you're still the father of my kid. How is that disrespect? Smoking on someone in the club that's not disrespectful. I would never disrespect you like that. This conversation is over. Victor and I know what we don't want to be, but what we want to be is just still so unclear. And I just don't want this decision I make tonight be another bad decision. I don't know why I have severe up. anxiety right now. Who knows what kind of mood he's gonna be out there? Damn yeah. that dress. Every Ooh. drill, every tear shed, every breakdown has come Oof. down to. Bless that dress, whoever designed that thing. Gang, gang. B awards out to you. I can't believe this is finally it. Gabby God. and Victor. Jeez, you want a divorce? I just feel like since we got here, you've broken me down. I don't think I could be with someone who's gonna bring something so ugly out of me. That's a good response. That's a great, that's a great, that's beautiful. I think that um, you're one of the best things that ever happened to me. You gave me my child. But being here, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about you. And it is toxic. I think that it'll be in Marcel's best interest after we find each other to try again. Like, I love you to death, but I need to love me. And I don't think I could be the best mom I can be with you. You go, girl. 
Shoot. Go, girl. Shoot, go, baby. And I'm in Brooklyn, you heard. Harlem City. He hated this whole experience. Damn, they put Ashes tree wreck on their door? He That's hated this whole up. experience. I actually saw the worst sides of him being here. So I'm glad it happened, because then we'd just be doing the same thing. Not letting go of each other. Damn. Since the boot camp, Victor has moved out of Gary's parents' house. He was in their house? And the two no longer speak. Victor alleges that Gabby is trying to cock block him by hacking his social media, deleting his followers, and reading his messages. Nobody could do that, bro, if unless you let them. This is when you change your whole social media after the breakup. Well, sheesh. Gabby alleged that all she is focused on is finishing her education to be a good mom and son. To Marcellus, that's what's up. You be a good mom, you little bad vixen girl. And shouts out to everybody who rocked out with this video. This video took a little too long, but it's all good. This is me, the real Mr. Musics, uh, here, H2MN TV. That's me, M U S I X No C. If you guys want to follow, 